everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashley, and here on my channel I talk all about embroidery, applique, Etsy, and running your own small business from home. So today I'm just going to bring you guys along as I'm working. It is Friday, April 1st. No joke. <laughs> it is like 7.20 in the morning. A little bit later start than you've seen me get some days, um, but I've actually been upset and working on computer stuff since like 5.30. Um, just finished editing a vlog. It's saving right now to my external hard drive to upload for you guys today. Um, nothing like last minute, but we'll get it going. Um, I have quite a bit to do today, um, but not as much as I've had the past couple weeks on Friday. Um, for the entire week, I actually had more this week. This is the most I've had in probably a year. Um, it's actually been busier than like the before Christmas rush right now. Um, Monday and Tuesday were very heavy on orders, like 14, 15 orders that had to ship per day, which is unusual for March and April. So who knows? But today I have, I just counted 19 jackets and five shirts that have to go out today. Um, so that's doable. I just need to stay focused. And then I have like eight or 10 Easter baskets that I need to do as well. Those actually don't ship till Monday and Tuesday. If I can get through this stuff in a timely fashion. I'm going to go ahead and try to get those done today because um, Easter's what, I don't know, two or three weeks away? Two, week, two weeks. Um, so I just want to get them out in the mail as soon as possible, um, just in case. And I think that's it for this morning. Let's go ahead and get started. I do have two orders. So I'm going to go ahead and start right away um, because my husband's going to take them to UPS this morning when he runs errands in town um, just to save ourselves a 50 mile trip later um, because UPS has been hit or miss on picking up my packages lately so in all fairness I don't pay for a pickup my regular driver just asked me to put him out where he places the packages the only problem is is if we have a substitute driver they don't pick them up because there's not an actual paid pickup scheduled so that happened to me last week and then we had to make a special trip if, like I said 50 mile trip to drop them off um, Otherwise, they don't get scanned in until Monday. So, got to get those done first. I actually have two already packaged back here. You can't see them behind me um, that I finished yesterday afternoon. And then I have two more that need to go. I'm going to do those first real quick. While I have those going, I'm going to clean up my office. Um, it's, y'all don't see the disaster that it actually is. It's a disaster. Um, I have my printer all the way out here because it was jamming yesterday. So we're gonna see if I have a little bit more patience to handle that today. If not, just at least push it back out of the way and um, get everything going this morning and see if we can get this all done in a timely fashion to actually ship today. All right, so quick update. It is now just after nine o'clock. Um, I got those two UPS orders done, shipped, they're on their way, almost there probably by now. Um, I just went and supported my local coffee shop and got my drink. It's a cherry pie, cherry flavored one this morning. It's good um, for just a little caffeine. <laughs> Help me get through. Um, I have four kid shirts left to do. I'm going to probably try to knock those out real quick. One's a unicorn design, which is actually what I just finished. Um, so I have that file set up already. I'm going to start that one on that back machine. And then the other three shirts are all the exact same design. I just need to change out a name. Um, and they're sketch stitch. So I'm going to start that on my other tin needle. And then while those are all running, I'm going to set up the rest of my files for today. I don't have any of the rest of them set up. So um, while those are running though, at least I'm getting something done and I can get the rest of these set up. I like having everything set up before I'm really trying to work. Um, that way I'm not back and forth because I have a tendency to get distracted. Um, if I look at my computer, so I'm just going to focus on getting the file set up, then working, and see if we can get these done. Like I said, late start this morning, kind of, but less to do, thankfully. So let's go.
All right, so quick update. It is just after one o'clock and all the shirts are done for the day. I don't have them trimmed up yet. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick um, once I get the machines running again. I have like 10 or 11 jackets left. One, I think I have 11, but one I'm waiting on a, a customer to get back to me. You ever have things like you don't question until a customer's like, well, I misunderstood or you misunderstood my directions. Then you start questioning it every time you see something like that. So added to my list of things I have to message customers about now um, and some previews for it. So I'm waiting on that customer to approve the mock-up I sent her. Um, if I don't hear back, I'll go ahead. I'm pretty confident on it, but the customer earlier this week has me questioning myself now. <laughs> um, so I'm just, I did send a message um, just in case and then we'll see. So if they get back to me, great. If not, I'm probably just going to go ahead and do it because like I said, I don't think there's going to be an issue, but every once in a while you get that one customer that makes you question things. So, um, 10 or 11 jackets to go at one o'clock. That's actually not too bad. I'll be able to run all three machines. So hopefully I'll be able to knock these out pretty quickly. Um, a couple of them are just names only. So those will be even faster. Um, and then, like I said, I do need to trim up and heat press all the shirts though, as well as the jackets I have done. A couple of them I got um, trimmed and folded, but not all of them. So I'm going to try to get back to work real quick and get these done so I can get them all shipped today, if at all possible.
finished, stitched, ready to go, trimmed. I just need to fold them. It's 2.40. If you remember, I have to be at the post office or at least leave by around 3. So I need to fold these and package these real quick. However, I am going to take the time to double check myself. I'm going to blame it on pregnancy brain. I have made way more errors than I'd like to admit here lately. Just like putting things in the wrong color or the wrong size jacket or forgetting a comma or other crazy little things. Um, so I've redone, like I said, more jackets than I've probably redone in the past like four years in the past two weeks. So I am going to be extra careful. I'm blaming it on pregnancy brain and double check every little thing as I'm packaging, even if that slows me down a little bit. I try to double check anyways, but I kind of usually kind of glaze over it. Um, not doing that today. I'd rather hold a jacket, hold an order, contact them, be like, hey, I have to remake it, then send them out something that's wrong to start with. So watching Angela, one of her recent vlogs, and going to package these up real quick. Um, I do have one jacket. You saw me fold it way earlier. Um, I'm going to take that over to my light box and get a photo of that because I only have a mock-up up right now. Um, I want to get an actual nice flat lay photo so they can see the finished product as well. And then the t-shirts are all folded. Just need put in bags and shipped. I just remembered I haven't printed shipping labels yet, so I need to do that real quick. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get these folded first and do all my double checking before I print shipping labels because that'd be a good order of operations, right? So that's pretty much it for today. I am going to go ahead and clean up my office. I've got all my packaging stuff. <laughs> um, for when I finished packaging, I just went straight to the post office to get everything there. I was a little late. I knew I would be. Um, I'm going to turn everything off, get everything. Everything's done except the one order I'm waiting to hear back from my customer. Um, hopefully she'll get back to me. If not, I'm just going to postpone it to Monday or Tuesday. And hopefully that's okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pull my bunny baskets for Monday as well. I think I've got either eight or ten. I should only have one or two of each color left after that, but I do want to double check just in case because then I'll remove that listing if um, there should be any shortages. Um, I'm going to double check the baskets themselves, um, make sure there's no issues. And then I always like to leave myself one of each just in case I make an error or mistake then I'm not out. I can still replace um, something. So um, thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we'd love to have you like the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time.